with a lot of people who have lost their animals or who are in the process of losing their animals. And animals being, talking to animals in spirit is one of my specialties. But you know, one of the things that comes up over and over again is when animals cross, and I don't like to use the word die because I look at this as a transition of the soul. It, the body may no longer be here, but the body is a vehicle. It's the soul that is, is who and what we love, the spirit. And when we cross, either human or animal, we tend to think of that as them going off into some faraway place in the sky and going away. And that's just not the case, you know, in, in my belief system and through my experience in talking to animals and people on the other side. Um, what it is is that everybody, everything in the universe has a, a vibration. Even, you know, the chair that we're sitting on has a vibration, the desk, the walls. The, those may be a very low, dense vibration. We, animals, humans, we're a higher vibration. We've, we're more animated. And spirit is yet a higher vibration, and they're vibrating so high that we just can't see them anymore. And um, it, you can think of it as a helicopter blade. You know when it's going around really slow, you can see it. But when it goes really, really fast, uh, you can't see it anymore. Well, that's what spirit is like. You know, they, spirit hasn't actually gone anywhere. They're right here. And as one animal told me, his mom, I think this is a cat, his mom was having a really, really hard time with his passing. And he showed me himself unzipping his body and stepping out of his body as an ethereal mass and saying to his mom, mom, I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm just not wearing my clothes anymore. So we shed those physical clothing, the physical clothing that we have, but it doesn't mean that our spirit dies. It doesn't mean that it goes anywhere. It's just, it's right here. It's just in another dimension that we can't see because it's vibrating so high that we can't see it anymore. You've heard of things about crossing, you know, crossing the veil. Well, a lot of times when you see a spirit or animal coming back to visit you, it might be when you're in a uh, you know, half, half asleep state or something like that, because that's when your vibration is higher. And when I talk to animals on the other side, I raise my vibration and they lower their vibration and we meet someplace in the middle. And that's how we, you know, that's how I can bring you messages from them. That's how I can communicate. Now they may have had a lot of lifetimes, um, but whoever I talk to, whether animal or human, on the other side, because on the other side, there's no, there's no gender, there's no species, there's no age, it's just energy over there. But whoever I talk to is going to present themselves to me in a manner that the person I'm reading for will um, recognize who I'm talking to. And that's, that's how I'm going to connect. But when they leave, I mean, they don't, we don't, we, we tend to think of them as going someplace far, far away, but they really haven't gone anywhere at all. They're connected to us through love and through that energetic, because love is, is energy. Love is, um, you know, the emotion that connects us. And so that, that keeps them connected to us. So while we want to, certainly we miss their physical bodies. I mean, there's no question that we miss their physical bodies. But, and we want, you know, we want that physical body there. But I really hope this will help you to think of it in a different way that they really haven't gone anywhere. You know, they can still see you, they can still hear you. I mean, it's not like they're, every moment their consciousness is, is there, but their energy is. I mean, there's no dividing line between energy. You can't take air in one room and say, okay, you part of the air stay over here and you part of the air stay over here. It doesn't work that way. That's the same way as energy. 
they're still energetic their spirit their soul is still an energetic being so they may be released have released themselves from that physical vibrational body that keeps them at a lower vibration but then they just step out of that body as an ethereal mass and they're right here with us so if you have any doubts that your fur kids are still around they are and you can see them through you know they can send messages through dreams through hearing songs uh, butterflies I see a lot of a lot of times with butterflies or um, you know there's just a lot of different ways that um, that animals will send messages to you and it's just a matter of being aware of the the different ways that those messages come through and you know and aware of your own perception you know if you look and you see a butterfly or you see a hummingbird and you immediately think of your animal then that's it doesn't mean that that animal is that hummingbird but it means that they are sending you that message and showing you hey mom hey dad I'm still around I love you I'm right here so I hope that help helps you um, I'm so very very sorry for the loss of your pet because uh, I imagine that that's why you might be listening to this at this point but know that they love you know that they care and know that they are still around